we did get to see Gitas play. And I don't know about you, Paul, but I saw a guy that probably not as big as I would have liked, or maybe I, I sort of thought when they first got the commitment from him, I thought, okay, this guy's going to be a front court piece. He's going to help them. He's a, he's a good rebounder. He's going to help them inside. And seeing him in person, it's like, well, he's not very big in terms of his physical stature. He's probably about, he's listed at 6'7". He's probably more like 6'6". Six, six. I think that's the same thing for like Reed Descharm. Those two guys both look to be about that 6'6 six, six range, pretty thin. Um, so more of like a, a small forward size-wise that can maybe slide down and play the power forward position. Um, but I'll say this, for a guy who knew absolutely nothing of what they were doing, he seemed to fit in rather well. He was involved. He grabbed a couple of rebounds and he had a couple of nice players. There was one where he came down in transition, transition, made a nice one-handed bounce pass off the Dalen Swain, I think for layup. And there was another one where he played a, a little transition ball, kind of got rid of it and then relocated to the left wing, got a kick out pass and knocked down a three from the left wing. So, I mean, I think I saw some things from him that were promising and gave me hope that he could be a, a rotation player right away. Well, I think at the very least, what you saw out of him was somebody who had played basketball at a decent level before. Is not somebody that's coming in as an 18 or 19 year old, and you're not sure he's rough around the edges. You're not really sure what the competition is that you've seen on film over there in Europe or what it's going to be like. He's somebody that's been around the block. It, it is a little hard to compare apples apples between the competition he's playing and then the competition he's going to face here at the division one level but at least what you saw was somebody that is going to be able to fit in and like you said earn some minutes here and there is am i expecting him to come in here and just blow everybody away at the Cintas center right away two games in no i didn't necessarily get that impression right away but again the other thing is what are you really reading into how who he was playing in the game in the Bahamas? Which is the it's the same merry-go-round of a situation that we have when we're trying to watch this grainy film over there from Europe. So it's it's really hard, you know, until I'm able to go and see him in practice, going against these Xavier Bigs, and, and everybody's healthy, and and you're getting practice. Which, to your point, I think you're spot on that sometimes you play these teams where sometimes even in a season where you feel like maybe the the first five, the starting five, could play better competition just playing the next five guys on the team so as far as Namiksha goes at least you saw somebody where it was encouraging that you're not starting so far behind the eight ball that you're thinking oh no what what's going on here he, he's he's at least productive outside of that a few minutes in a game against this level of competition down in the Bahamas I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it 